right, so I'm basically just going to be doing this review because I needed to get it out of the way and because this movie really frustrated me to a point of oblivion. So here are my thoughts on the new Black Christmas remake. So Black Christmas is the second remake of the 1974 version of Black Christmas and it's basically a slasher film where the sorority girls are getting stalked by the serial killer and they try to figure out who's the killer and why the killer the killer is trying to kill them. And if you've seen the movie you've basically seen the entire film the only thing that they didn't spoil was the reason why they're doing it and basically a whole agenda that's basically over the head so many times that you just basically want to walk out of the theater and never see this movie again. The, now going into this film I had not seen the original Black Christmas I saw the two thousand I've seen bits and pieces of the 2006 version of Black Christmas <clears throat> which I fondly remember because I remember that was the first time that I saw Michelle Trachtenberg and Mary, Liz, Mary Elizabeth Winstead after I seen Ice Princess and Sky High and so I just basically saw bits and pieces of it on HBO one night and I just recently this week saw the original Black Christmas and the 2006 version of Black Christmas. The first Black Christmas, great. I think it has a really great tone and has a really nice blend of horror and suspense and mystery. The 2006 version of Black Christmas is basically probably what inspired Rob Zombie to remake Halloween and retell this mythology story of this serial killer. And then we get to Black Christmas 2019. And I remember when they first announced this remake because I was really surprised because I didn't hear any talk about this movie being remade. And so when they first dropped the teaser poster of the candy cane with the blood on it, I was really excited to see this movie. It wasn't until about this week that I saw that there was some black backlash on the film because it got a PG-13 rating and a lot of people were upset about that. <clears throat> Believing all that, the PG-13, the remakes, everything about that. Seeing that it had, I think when I first saw the reviews go up, it had a 47%. Now it has about a 43% on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm not sure if it dropped by now. I hope so. But I left my baggage out on the door and I went in and I ex wanted a good, fun horror film because that's exactly what we've been getting from Bloomhouse. I've really enjoyed both of the Happy Death Day movies. I think those two movies are fun. I think Bloomhouse really does a really good job with handling some of their horror films, making them on the low, and getting a huge return out of them. The movie, with the trailer spoiling the whole movie, I was still hesitantly excited to see this movie. And, uh... <clears throat> I think Playing With Fire might have some competition for worst movie of the year. This movie is and I want to be extremely nice because I know what they were trying to go for and I appreciate what they were going for but this movie is a huge fat fucking mess this movie basically beats you over the head with its message every single five fucking minutes and I could not stand of it I wanted to walk the fuck out of the theater and not even think about this movie anymore because this movie really I want to I really do want to be nice because it's really, because I know how hard it is to make a film and I know how much time and effort it takes into making this, into making a movie and everybody goes in every single day try to make the best, best film that they possibly can make, but every single five fucking minutes of this film is basically a women empowerment film that basically doesn't even acknowledges any of the past remakes there are some hints and nods to the original film that this movie tries to go for but then completely fails if it wasn't for those two blink it and miss it moments in this film you would have not noticed that this was a black christmas remake because this movie has no connection to 
the original or the remake. There's no Billy. There's no nothing. There's no anything that really basically connects the whole remakes and original. Know that I saw going into this film that the director and the writers, I believe, came out and said that they wanted to make a woman empowerment uh, film that basically just ignores what happens in all slasher films where they're just basically eye candy and they just get they're just there to get killed and if they had if they have ever seen any slasher film they then they would probably know that not every single female gets fucking killed in every single slasher film because scream one of my favorite series Minus the third one, I Sydney is basically the best final girl in any of the slasher films. I think she has more in those films than any other characters in this film. Every single character in this film is unlikable and basically you just want them to die immediately. And this movie frustrated me to a point of no return. There are moments that where I just wanted to walk out and... I usually don't walk out of films, but this movie definitely made me walk the fuck out probably 30 minutes or an hour into the film because I really enjoyed the first Black Christmas and I, now I can appreciate the 2006 version. But this movie, if you have, you could have literally titled this film anything else and it would have not made one single fucking difference in the slightest because this film is basically horrendous and despicable and I do think that this movie is really offensive because all it's basically saying that all men doesn't matter who are are basically evil manipulative and they can get away with anything and women are just a bunch of angels and I'm on and this probably will offend a lot of people but this movie is basically a borderline probably the most offensive film that you can watch this year because you can get your message point across in a different way but if you beat it over the audience's head every single five fucking minutes then it's basically not even a movie it's basically just a fucking statement and that's the one thing that irritated the fuck out of me because I really didn't like this film I wanted to like it even though the movie even though the trailer showed the whole fucking movie I was really ex still excited to see this movie but this movie is a bunch of fucking bullshit that I can't stand and I probably will never ever 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 watch this movie because this movie is horrendous atrocious it's a crime against humanity and it's probably going to end up being the worst film of 2019 I think this movie was a huge misfire it was a huge downgrading from what they wanted to do and I really hope that this is the nail on the coffin on the Black Christmas because I'm not sure if because this movie had to be better than the 2006 version and come close to being as good or if not better than the 1974 version and it did and it failed to do both of those things. I think this is basically bottom of the barrel bullshit that you can watch during a Christmas time. And I think this movie is basically a shame to call itself even a black fucking Christmas. Because this movie is nothing compared to what those other two films are. There are some good performances from Imogen Putin. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I'm not sure if I... I probably did mispronounce it. If I did, I'm sorry. Everybody can go ahead and correct that down on the comments below. But I think she did a pretty good job for the material that she was handed. But everybody else in this film is basically unlikable. And you just basically... There aren't even any fucking kills in this film to even call it a slasher film. There's like one or two. But even the good guys that they have in this film spoiler alert if you're really that interested in this film that you basically watched in two minutes if you've seen the trailer they basically get fucking killed in this film and they don't even get a chance to shine in this film because they're in it for like bits and pieces in this film and that really irritated the hell out of me and this is probably coming from a hispanic male 
male's perspective, and I really do want to get a female's perspe- perspective on this film. But this movie really, I would want to say it really disgusted me, and I wish it could have been so, so much better. And I get that they were trying to get a message across, and I wish they could have gotten that message across completely different. But overall, I didn't enjoy this film. I think this film is a crime against humanity, and I really, I really can't stand this film any longer. I'm going to go ahead and give Black Christmas a 0 out of 10. Yeah, this could have been a lot better. Really, 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 really hit me in the wrong of ways, and I wish this movie could have been so much better because I love horror. I don't mind it when there's a political message in films, but when it beats you over the fucking head every single five fucking minutes, it's basically irritating and really just is really irritates the fuck out of me. But now that I've gone on that rant, what did you guys think of it? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it like I did? And most people. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you think of it. And if you liked it, go ahead and let me know. And if you like this review, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. If And also go ahead and check out my other reviews as well. There's probably going to be more coming. I got the Rise of Skywalker coming this Thursday. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, enjoyed this review. Go ahead and let me know what you think of it. And, and until next time, this is Josie's Reviews.